Since it posted its first images online, the terrorist group ISIL has been using the internet as part of its strategy. Millions worldwide have now seen footage of their kidnappings, military attacks and murders. These videos are largely used as a recruitment tool, but now cyber experts are worried about the group using the internet in a far more destructive way, by bringing down a country's infrastructure. And Jordan is making sure it will not be one of the victims. A lot of hacking companies in, in Asia, for instance, who are simply selling uh, ready-made hacks uh, to anybody who comes up with a suitcase full of money. And uh, apparently ISIS has a lot of money, so uh, they could be able to just simply buy these attacks or hire a mercenary company uh, to mount attacks on Jordan and other countries in the region. The concern is that ISIL would not be interested in simply hacking websites. With their financial strength, they could use what they call cyber jihad to bring down critical infrastructures such as water plants, energy plants or telecommunications installations. This would not only sow disorder in the country, it could also prepare the ground for a physical attack. If you look at the recent uh, ISIS operations in, in Iraq, they specifically targeted the uh, Haditha Dam. And so uh, with the scarceness of water in Jordan, uh, water infrastructure would certainly be uh, an area of concern that would require attention and uh, protection. Looking to the future, uh, Jordan is trying to become self-sufficient in nuclear energy and attention should be given to the uh, development of the, uh, of the nuclear uh, uh, generation sector in Jordan. A dam is, is a good example. We've had a couple of instances in the past where the, the gates of a dam were directly accessible through the internet and then you could just uh, open the gates and, and flood a, a whole uh, country uh, behind it. For instance, chemical industries and you would just vent some toxic gases in, into the atmosphere because you, can, you have access to that and all of a sudden the chemical industry is a critical infrastructure. In response to these new threats, NATO's Science for Peace and Security program has joined forces with Jordan to improve the detection, analysis and responses to sophisticated cyber attacks. It's a project that, once implemented, could be extended to other countries in the Middle East and elsewhere. We have to be ready to respond to any kind of threat, no matter where the sources come from, state or non-state actor, from now, SARS, east, west, land, sea, or air. Uh, it is a reflection of the need to be adapted to the very complex international security context. The good thing about this project is that we really start from scratch in some areas, so we can avoid making the same mistakes which we have made in, in, uh, in Europe and in the US. Uh, so here we can really uh, cut all this uh, out and, and uh, have all the lessons learned embed them in the project. I think we'll be able to come up with some very highly sophisticated capabilities here for some targeted uh, activities and capabilities and, uh, that will help the Jordanians uh, quite a bit. I think a lot of other countries would like to do similar projects. There are similar requests coming from all over the world uh, right now. While it continues to ramp up its cyber security, there is one area where Jordan has already taken a key security step that protects it and that is that its armed forces keep their most sensitive and secure documents on paper only.